Justin, your boy has arrived. Woo -hoo. Oh my goodness, first order of business, we gotta take a piss, get some food. I always hate having a ton of stuff when I'm traveling. Look at this. Bag, 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 bag. And I got another one downstairs. So unfortunately, I didn't get to film my time with Will and Gabe and Will's wife, Diane, um, Burger Chan TX and Click Virtual Food Hall. If you guys are in the local area, Houston, go and check them out. Super awesome food, Click Virtual. Burger Chan, I think it's got about two more months until they actually open up. But anyway, go and follow them on Instagram. You'll keep up with them because those burgers are gonna be epic, I guarantee you. Not cool. Well, that sucked. <laughs> what I really want is this. Good morning guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. It is officially 8.31 Saturday, August 7th. Holy fuck, we are here. It is the day that we've been waiting for and training for for the last 12 to 14 weeks. This is where we're at. Uh, freshly out of the bathroom, dropped the biggest, you know what. Anyway, let's see what our weight is this morning. We're sitting at 151, not bad, not bad. Um, last night, I basically kept it super chill, ate a ton of food for dinner, uh, totally stocked up on sushi, had massive stack of pancakes over at IHOP. The nerves are definitely there, but I'm super excited about this. It's gonna be a great experience and uh, just looking forward to each one of my lifts and coming out with some new PRs. So let's get going. Man. Turn this bad boy on. And these bad boys coming with me. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. So it's about 10 minutes out. Um, we're gonna start doing weigh-ins at 11. That's gonna go until 12.30. Then uh, basically just start gonna warm up and then uh, lifting starts at one o'clock, but I just went in to take a piss and man, energy is just freaking through the roof over there. So anyway, I'm super excited about this. I'm gonna just chill out for the next few minutes and then we'll get our weigh-ins in. Almost done cleaning up the warm up room, guys. As soon as they are, we'll let all you guys in there after you weigh in, cool? Uh, sweet. Thank you, bro. Hell yeah. You can show him your ID. Um, your badge is good, because we've already checked your ID. They got like four different setups over here. We're gonna hit our squats, and uh, uh, this is pretty sick. Yeah. Oh, I'm here for free. Right. What you, you weigh in at? 68 kg. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no way. You're going in 74. Wait, how long are we going? Oh, okay. We're going to be together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy's been training out here for the last, what, long enough? Gonna be some awesome deadlifts. Nah. Way too fast. Hello. There you go. He's famous. We home. Whew. 
Ladies and gents, we are back home. I'm gonna put down this stuff and we're gonna talk through this freaking epic weekend. All right guys, so we are back officially from the competition, my very first powerlifting competition and I have so much to say but I don't want to take up too much time in this video. Um, first off, I apologize in advance for all the different cutoffs and just uh, I didn't get it really quite paint the story that I wanted to with this video. But I think going forward, I have a better game plan. But outside of that, first things first is huge shout out to all of these people that are on the screen for freaking just being there. Um, with this first competition, you guys know, for those of you that have been on the channel for quite some time and have been following me on Instagram, you guys know that I've been basically uh, using Juggernaut AI app to help program my whole uh, competition prep and also in terms of nutrition, just taking care of that on my own. But then also going into this meet, I didn't have a coach or a handler with me and I wasn't quite sure what to really expect. You know, you, you just do so much research on your own and you try and figure out um, just the different scenarios that you're gonna come across and I definitely was not ready. I legit came across these guys and they were straight up just jumping right in to kind of give me some tips and just help me out along with the process. And through that, I just met some really great dudes and gals too, you know, just, um, it's been an awesome experience. So for any of you who are looking into powerlifting and just like, maybe you might be a little shy or timid about just stepping into the field, just, you gotta do it. You just gotta get out and do it. So anyway, huge shout out to these guys here. And then also huge shout out to Sam who came out and watched me for a little bit um, during the competition. I appreciate you so much. Um, and also just making the drive out and freaking traffic. I know the traffic is crazy out there. But outside of that, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a voiceover, just kind of a recap on the different lifts that I had. I know I didn't get to share a lot of the numbers that I was hitting and what I was tackling. And a lot of that kind of came down to because I had Victor that actually helped me out and kind of coached me throughout the entire meet. So huge shout out to Victor. And if you guys are looking into powerlifting, I want you guys to go and check out this guy. Um, he definitely coaches and is actually um, just freaking epic. He, it, it, the way that he handled me throughout the meet was just so flawless and seamless that it took out so much pressure and stress of just going through my warmups and trying to figure out how to cap. He just took off so much stress throughout the whole process and the whole day really. So that way I could just go in and hone in on my lifts and that was it. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So for the first lift, really, I was trying just to make sure that I was listening to the commands, executing on those commands, and then also making sure that I was staying tight in my lift. This first lift went way easier than I had anticipated. I don't even remember what the actual lift was, um, just a total poundage. But you know, for me, I think what I also realized too throughout this entire meet is I was not really paying particular attention to what the numbers were. All I was focusing on was I just need to lift this weight and do it properly. And at the end of the day, I think that really helped because I wasn't getting myself too psyched up about the lifts. Coming up next, only five kilo increase from his opener. This is rather tall for 74. Looks to be a so this second lift here, you can see once I get into the final position, I take that step early and I missed that lift. I was so pissed because I knew in my head, I just, I kept telling myself, I need to wait. I need to wait for the command, wait for the command for rack. And uh, I just got too excited that I executed on that lift. But I'm happy that I hit it because it was pretty close to my PR. So this last squat, um, I believe is 347. And that was the most that I've lifted and to be honest I felt like I was pretty tight and pretty strong in the lift I probably I think I probably could have gone a little bit more um but super happy with the way that it came out and freaking PR'd on it so super happy Ooh, little struggle nice. first bench um I think went pretty smooth you know 90 kilograms um I think played it pretty conservative with the bench area just because the, the energy that I was you know, using for that lift trans transferred over to my deadlifts. Um, and I think Victor did a really great job with helping me out with that um, because the lifts that I had from Juggernaut I think was just slightly more and if I did expend some of that energy I don't know if I would have hit my deadlift numbers. Chris. 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 
generally speaking, all of us, all of us, is stable. That's the crust of it. Like, there wasn't anything else that happened to the crust of it. So what I'm doing here basically is just telling the spotter like how I want the lift off to be three, two, one up. Um, I didn't know that I was actually going to get a spotter and Victor was the one that actually mentioned, hey, when you get up there, you can tell them how you want the bar handed to you. So I totally thought that I was going to have to do that myself. And if I hadn't known that that would have been, that definitely saved me a lot of energy. And if you guys are curious and want to watch the full stream, they do have this on the Twitch channel. It's still live. I just spliced this up just to hit my lips. But um, yeah, I got to say for sure, the commentator or the main uh, speaker that was on it, the kid did such an awesome job. The guy was hilarious. Sometimes it's just not there on the database. That doesn't mean that you're not strong. That doesn't mean that you're not a successful prep. It just means that the conditions are not being changed. They're different from how you train it. Yeah, on to deadlifts. So this, by this point, my back was fried. I was definitely cramping up in certain areas, just like my shoulders, my my hamstrings were all getting super tight. I was trying to chug a bunch of water uh, along with some electrolytes and get some food in. But I uh, you know, just kind of pushed it. I knew that we only had a few more lifts left and this one felt pretty damn good. Um, so I felt pretty solid in that first deadlift and then once we got bumped up to the second, so I think it's 390, 391 pounds, that's been my ultimate max uh, with a deadlift, um, especially over at Battle, uh, Battle Axe Barbell. And you can see I'm pretty fatigued and just spitting out as much energy as possible. Um, hit that one luckily. Now this third attempt, I was holding on to dear life. I just, I told myself I was gonna break 400 and I was not gonna let go of the bar. And man, this this lift was a struggle. We hit 402. Couldn't be happier. I had a ton of help. The people are here. Just, it's been freaking amazing. Such uh, an awesome community. There's some people here that definitely want to connect with later. But we're done. I'm gonna chill out here for a little bit. Good times. All right, guys. We officially closed out the very first powerlifting competition. I'm so happy that I've been able to share this experience with you guys and just the amount of support has been immense. I, I kid you not, Jacked fam, you guys are freaking coming in hot. Hell yeah. But anyway, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to flex on that subscribe button, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And if you guys are on IG, hit me up on there as well. And uh, outside of that, let's go ahead and close it up. Stay safe, stay swole, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.